Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Hanging with Nikki. As promised, I am coming back to make some cooking videos on what I deem is healthy for me. Like I said before in one of my previous videos, I'm a type 1 diabetic. Uh, I've been living with it maybe two years. I've been borderline for years and I've been working at keeping my A1C down. I've been doing a good job, but recently I just couldn't hold it. It went to a 10. Okay. And the doctor was like, look, uh, Nikki, you were doing good in the past, but now I have to bring in some reinforcement. So I agreed to take some medication and, um, I went back for my last A1C check. Uh, it's done every three months. So my last check was done December this month and, uh, it went from a 10 to a nine. So I was doing something good. Okay. All right, so today we're going to be cooking organic cabbage. Um, I really don't, I love eating cabbage, don't get me wrong, but I don't like cooking it. You know, some cabbage is rougher than others. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what I would use or wouldn't use on it because it just looks so rough and dirty. And uh, this is pretty. And it's like a head of lettuce almost to me, but it's a cabbage. So when I start cutting into it, I'll let you see. Also, we love veggies and I have some yellow squash. I'm going to cook some yellow squash. <laughs> yeah, I we love squash. Okay. So I'm going to cook these either separate or add it to the cabbage. It's going to be delicious. So stay tuned. Right, we're back and as promised here are the organic cabbage I'm gonna start rough chopping them they are easy to work with it's my first time but I could just tell already if I can fit it in the palm of my hand I know it's gonna be easy to work with and it's so beautiful it's like just a thick cabbage, if you will. You know? I mean, I'm sorry. Guys, I'm cutting cabbage, but I'm thinking of lettuce. <laughs> it's like a thick lettuce. Okay, it's so pretty, so delicate. And when I look at food that looks pretty, it makes me want to eat it more. Look how green and pretty it is. These leaves are all green and pretty. I guess when it's organic, they just take care of it better. It's healthier. I mean, it's more expensive. Don't get me wrong. And I know sometimes we can't afford to get organic all the time. But in this case, to be honest, I was tasked of cooking cabbage for my daughter, my oldest daughter's Christmas party uh, with her singing group. And something happened where the time frame got told to me wrong so what can I do now I had cooked the whole ham because I you know if I'm putting my touches on food I want people to rave about it. I want them to talk about it. I want them to say Nikki baby uh those greens those yams whatever it is so I put my whole heart into cooking and I just want it to be flavorful and good and rememberable you know I think those are good memories Yes, so I'm done with the first, the first, so, and it rendered a lot. It rendered a lot. And I'm working on getting, like, a better camera situation going on. So, just thank you for hanging with me for now. I appreciate you. I really do. And I hope you're having a great day. Yeah, I am. You know what? Because I'm blessed to be alive and well. Uh, I have life, health, and strength. Um, in spite of this pandemic that's going on in our land, you know, I'm in constant prayer. Uh, praying for everyone. And I, my heart goes out to the people that have lost their loved ones. It's a lot. And believe me, I care. I'm thinking about you. Um... And I'm glad you're still here. 
there's still a purpose for your life and a plan for it. So, just know that Nikki cares, okay? All right, so, I'm just about, li listen, from now on, when I have the taste for cabbage, it's going to be organic because this is too easy. <laughs> This is too easy. I was dreading doing the cabbage for the little event because I know how rough cabbage is and you have to rinse it and you can't use the majority of it. I'm getting plenty of yield out of this. This is going to be good. So I know I had talk, touched on that earlier and I couldn't give the cabbage because of the time frame. I hadn't started cooking on it yet, but the ham was cooked. And that ham juice was going to be the pot liquor for these cabbage. You know, cabbage doesn't, it doesn't need a lot of seasoning or anything because they steam, they steam water, you know, their own water. So you just add a little seasoning, but that pot liquor, that ham, it was going to be on point. So I, I was like, look, I have the ham. If you want that, they were like, sure. So I was like cutting it up, put it a bit container and they were so happy they took it and ran so it left me the cabbage and i'm just cooking two i was gonna cook four um so i'm just gonna cook two but stay tuned we'll be right back all right we're back we got the dance king squash <laughs> these are gonna be so great guys uh we love squash sometimes i cook them with a um, little onion I'll go ahead and put the onions in the pan and caramelize them a little. Yeah, and then I'll add the cabbage, I mean, the squash to it uh, with just a little water. Uh, these yield their own water, steam, or steamable too. But just a little water, uh, maybe a little butter, um, salt and pepper. That's it. That's all she wrote. So I'm going to start by cutting the ends off. And these are soft. Yeah, if you've never had squash before, yellow squash, or eaten them before, uh, they're like kind of like an apple or a pumpkin type of filling. Um, I rinsed them off. I like the skin on mine. You can eat the skin. It adds more texture. So I dice them up. Not too thin, not too thick. About like this. Yeah, and believe me or not, believe it or not, two is not enough. Um, Olivia and I are just eating tonight because, like I said, my oldest daughter she has gone to a Christmas get together, a party with her singing group, so it's just us in the house tonight, hanging out, doing what girls do. And on a Sunday, I love to cook. Uh, my grandmother used to cook on Saturday, Saturday evenings or Saturday afternoons, so she wouldn't have to do anything on Sunday. It was really a rest day. But I, I do that sometimes, but if I'm busy on a Saturday, I really don't have a lot of time, and I need to get a, enough sleep. I need my beauty sleep, okay? So this one's a little thicker. I was getting towards the end. It's fine, Okay. So I'm on to my second squash. Hi, Mr. Squash. Thank you. We like eating squash. We like eating the good. I know I'm a little comical at times. I can't help it. I'm enjoying life the best I can. You know, we make some decisions in life that we have to live with or some things happen that is beyond our control. But all is good, all is well. I'm grateful, I'm thankful. I'm doing the best I have with what I've got. All right. So like I said, I'm a type 1 diabetic. And it's in my best decision making to eat better. You know, Olivia's 13. Um, my other daughter, she's 26. And I want to be around. I want to be around to see my grandkids. I want to enjoy my family. Um, it's still so much more in life I want to accomplish and achieve. So I said, look, I have to gain control. I have to stop playing. 
This is real, you know? So I want a better life, okay? I'm going to take the meds that I was given. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to exercise. Uh, I'm checking my uh, glucose, my blood sugars, every month, every morning. Um, and I do it fasting. As soon as I get up in the morning and start my day, I don't have anything to drink, anything to eat, uh, unless it's water. Um, and I just go ahead and take my, my blood sugar, prick myself. It's easy breezy, one, two, three. It has to be done, okay? We have to take better care of ourselves, okay? We want to live and live a good life and live as long as we can. So we can do it. I know we can. All right, so I'm going to call my assistant to help me. Olivia, hey, baby girl. Can you bring me the pan? Thank you. She is 13 now. She's so beautiful. And she cooks too. Yes, she does. You can follow her on the OB Life. The OMB Life. See, I got it wrong already. <laughs> What's it called, baby? The OMB Life. Go subscribe to that and turn on the post notification. She's good. Really. She be keeping me straight, okay? Oh, you're holding it for me? Thanks. Yep. So, throwing these in the pan. And for Christmas last year, you guys, Olivia did her thing. She's intentional. She's an intentional gift giver. She gave me a pot and pan set, and it was by the Pioneer Woman. I was like, oh, my gosh, thank you. So that's it for now, and stay tuned. I'll be back. Hello. Well, welcome back to Hanging with Nikki. All right, so we're going to eat baked chicken. Actually, we're going to eat barbecue chicken tonight. So what I've done is uh, cleaned and rinsed some chicken thighs. I am going to keep the fat on it, yes, because I can't have fried chicken right now. I do sparingly, but I don't need it. So I have two. All right. I keep the, the fat on because, uh, you know, it fries up. I put it on 400. All right, and um, that skin fries up, you know, so it tastes good. It makes me think I'm eating some fried chicken, but I'm not. So, I don't use a lot of salt, um, but I like my food flavored. So, first choice is onion powder. Thank you, assistant, my lovely assistant. All right. And I have on hand some chicken seasoning. Can you see that good? Any brand will do. This is what I have. A lot of these I get from the Dollar Tree or um, places that sell dollar, dollar items. Go right down the aisle and pick them up. I can work with them, okay? I can tweak them, make them to my liking. And this is one of my faves. This is black garlic, and it's uh, with pink salt. Um, I love black garlic. I'm a fan. I've been ordering black garlic off of Amazon like crazy, okay? It seasons everything so well. So if you can, when you can, get you some. Try you some. It's good. Any, any would do, okay? I'm not going to put any brand out there. I've had several brands. They're all good, okay? And it doesn't take much. Um, I go ahead and put my chicken on the line. You know, because I'm going to bake it. So I just already have it good to go. All right, so I layer it with the onion powder first. Because that's where I get my biggest seasoning from. And that's what I could put on the most because it doesn't have any salt in it okay so i'm gonna get my flavor from there uh, i put just sprinkles you see it of my chicken seasoning 
And then let's see. The black garlic. Oh my gosh. Whew. When I say this is great, it's great. You have to try it, I'm telling you. And then I'm going to use parsley. Any parsley will do. I think I got this from Aldi. It's a new store, kind of new in our area now. Um, Dollar Tree would do too. Okay. So she's good to go. And plus, since I'm going to barbecue it, I'm going to add barbecue sauce. I don't need a lot of other seasoning because barbecue sauce is full of its own seasoning. Okay. And it's a spoiler alert. I put honey on it too. This is organic blue agave. It's a low glycemic sweetener. All right. And I found this in Save a Lot. It was $1.99. Uh, I found it in some other retailers too. But when I saw this bottle, um, 11.75 ounces for two bucks. I snatched like four. Okay. I gave my mom some. She's a diabetic too. Okay. So we're learning and eating better. She's been one for years, but she hasn't always done what she needed to. But lately she has been. Okay. So I'm going to give her her props. All right. I love you, mom. All right. So stay tuned, guys. When I come back, we'll have the full course and we're going to be chomping down. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, guys, everything is done. I'll tilt my plate so you can see the barbecue chicken, how crispy. We got the cabbage. I can't wait for the cabbage. With the ham. Hopefully you guys can see it well. If you can't, you'll see me eat it well. <laughs> and we got the squash. Dancing squash. Dancing my mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I embarrass Olivia sometimes, but in a fun way. All right, so we're going to grow, but before we do, we're going to have Olivia to say a short, sweet prayer for us. Lord, thank you for this meal that my mom prepared for me and her, and let it give us nutrients and strength and do no harm to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, guys, so yes, I am dressed up. I'm dressed up because I have special guests. And Olivia's so worried. She was like, Mom, you didn't tell me we had guests coming over. I don't know who it is. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, you're my special guest. You're my special guest. Oh my gosh. You Be my guest me. and hang out with Nikki. You're going to have fun. Okay? So... I'm going to start with my squash. Okay, me too. And to be honest, I did a few, I had a few things up my sleeve. If you watch my video on open my Amazon package with me, go ahead and eat, babe. Okay. Um, you'll see I got something new mm. in the mail. It's a spice wrap. And I put it together. So I finally knew where all my spices were. So I found some curry. I added that to my squash and some turmeric because turmeric is good for you. All right, so here we go. Oh, that's good. Mm, 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 mm. I could I easily I be a vegetarian. Yeah. I could easily be a vegetarian. I need to work on that. I was telling Liv, sometimes we, we might just eat vegetables because they're hearty. Mm. I put a few onions in it off camera. Baby, I did my thing, okay? This is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Y'all, I told you I tried this organic cabbage for the first time. When I tell you it is sweet and tender. Right, and then it. the ham. See, Liv tried her cabbage. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> we love our veggies around here. I'm not joking. We do. Brussels sprouts and all. Okay? That ham gives a whole bunch of flavor. It, adds, it takes it up so many notches. 
And I'll tell y'all in some other videos if you like to see it. So you will have to subscribe if you want to keep hanging with Nikki. And uh, like my video and give me a comment, a friendly suggestion, what you put in yours, uh, how you cook your cabbage, your barbecue chicken, your squash, if you eat squash. And also subscribe to her other um, YouTube channel called Nicole Out Around. Make sure you guys subscribe to that. Yes. It's N-I-C-H-O-L-E, Wilder, W-I-L-D-E-R, hyphen brown. Okay. The links will be in the description box below. What she said. <laughs> okay, but yes, I did not send all the ham, okay, to my daughter's group. I cut me up some, and I kept it for my cabbage, okay? And this ham is so good. Mmm. 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 I I'm can. not joking. I am not joking. It does not have to be a special holiday to cook well, okay? And it doesn't take long. I get mad when I go to certain fast food restaurants because my taste buds are getting the best of me. I'm like, oh my, I'm going to taste this because it it's so good. And it's disappointing because it's not the way I last had it or... My taste buds aren't satisfied. So I still have to come home and cook. And I like my cooking. So I say I should have just did that from the get-go, saved a couple dollars, and been happy. But <laughs> you say get go. The get go. Um telling my age. <laughs> but uh these are seasoned. I mean, this organic cabbage is delicate, guys. You're gonna have to try it. And then I don't feel guilty for if I wanted seconds. I could go back and have seconds. Being that I'm a diabetic, um, I'm a miss. I'm a slip up sometimes. But in this case, if I wanted seconds, I can go get seconds and not feel guilty because it's good for me, you know. And it's not a lot of ham in it. It's just the same cabbage, lightly seasoned, melts in my mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got all dressed up and doll for y'all because I appreciate y'all for watching our channel okay so Liv has finished her greens mm -hmm. the cabbage and the squash mm -hmm. they're all gone so if she wants healthy seconds she can have it okay mm -hmm. All right, so now to this barbecue chicken. All right, I'm nervous. Look at it, crispy. That's delicious. Crispy. You going first, Leah? Yeah. All right. Well, let's do it together. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Where'd you pop them out? <laughs> That's good. And sorry. <laughs> nice She's popping her light mouth. And clean in the inside. Yes, I cleaned it well. And I soaked it in vinegar. That's what I taste. It tastes so good. That's that down Ooh. south. Barbecue flavor. The skin came off. And we're from down south, if you can't tell already. <laughs> our country swing. But, um, yes. I said, I'm going to kick it up a notch. Look at this skin. Yeah. I mean, we don't eat fried. I know skin probably isn't good at all, but sometimes you have to have your moment. And this is for you. We're doing this for you. Because you're our special guest. <clears throat> Mm-mm-mm. That vinegar. Mm. Yes. I can't stop smacking my lips. It's good. It is really good. So, guys, mm -hmm. if you want more videos like this, where I cook from my heart, cook with the knowledge that I have, with what I know, subscribe, follow me, hang with me. Mm -hmm. All right? So, and like it. And comment. You know, give me a good comment. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share these videos. Oh, yeah, and share. See, this girl, be she be helping me out. Mm -hmm. 
she hanging with me, I hang with her. And we have, like she said before, um, her video, the OMV life. Yeah. Okay. She glammed me up. She did my makeup, guys. When I told her we had special guests coming, she was like, oh, my God. Really? Who? I know. I was like, don't worry. Don't worry. Just doll me up. So she did my eyes, my eyebrows, my lips, and my little foundation. And then I put on my outfit that I got for my birthday. I know that's right. Yep. So I'm good to go. When I tell you I feel so good, um, eating better makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. And it's good soulful food. It's no guilt. Now, I try to stay away from a lot of starches and carbs. I eat some carbs. And I'll cook some carbs, you know. And you'll see it in the future. So just keep hanging with Nikki, okay? I love you once again. This 2020, it's okay. We made it. We're still here. There's, excuse me, a reason and a purpose and a plan. All right? So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.